What is the maximum population density in a settled land where farming and homesteading is impossible? Let's say that early Middle Ages humans discovered and expanded into a newly discovered land. Those humans made a concentrated effort to populate this new territory. They shipped several ships of settlers and refugees, along with armies of soldiers intended to forge a foothold. Then flash forward a hundred years. Despite the humans' best efforts, they proved incapable of fully conquering this new world. Many of the native creatures, mostly roving monsters or scattered primitive warbands, simply proved too formidable to be hunted, repelled or defeated. The humans. Did. Managed to establish several coastal colonies in the New World, yet their cities rely entirely on strong walls to keep the natives out and protect the citizens. Outside of these scattered few fortified human cities, the land is still wilderness ruled by monsters. Even traveling alone is a coin flip. Unlike in the real world, humans here are not the top of the food chain. As a result, for settlers farming or homesteading is very difficult. If a family of farmers ever tries to set up a farm outside of the walls, they get eaten by the natives very quickly. Claiming new territory not impossible, but it requires a dedicated force of soldiers to hold the perimeter. The humans could fortify a farm, but there's a limit on how many walls they can build or how many soldiers they can spare to hold them. As such, growing crops is treacherous work, supplies are limited, people are hunted, and establishing secure farmland usually requires more manpower than it can feed. Assume that the humans are stretched to their limit. Humans can still leave their walls to hunt or fish the smaller native animals, yet hunting is perilous due to the big creatures around. The ecosystem is mostly comparable to the real-world examples, but with the addition of predatory megafauna. Some of these large predators can fly, others hunt by sea, and many are just hordes of monsters. The question is, is this situation actually sustainable? Generally, cities consume far more than they produce. In early civilizations, most of the populace rely on single-family farms or homesteading. Hunting and foraging is less reliable, and generally farming crops is the only real solution to feed a lot of people. But in a land where the farmland was simply too dangerous, would an expansion effort even be able to succeed? So what is the largest population that a city could actually sustain, in theory, if all of its inhabitants are forced to take shelter behind fortified walls? Edit. There can still be farmland within the walls, but only within the walls. I can't say what area those walls cover, simply because I'm not sure how much is reasonable. This isn't an attack on Titan setting where the walls are miles long, the walls are what can reasonably be built by settlers within a hundred years, but I doubt if that area is large enough to maintain a sizable population. Consider a circle. Its boundary grows linearly with its diameter, but the area within grows as the square of it. Why is this important? Because you're thinking the wrong way round. You're thinking of putting your city inside a ring of undefended farmland. What you should do instead is put your farmland inside the city. Give your houses big gardens. Establish large commons and allotments for keeping animals and crops. Make sure your walls enclose all your farms. Paradoxically you'll find you end up with more food and more soldiers how the circle the number of people you need to man the walls grows linearly the amount of farmable livable space grows faster than that using such a method your city can grow to be but not necessarily start off arbitrarily sized big enough even that after a while you can separate out again into dedicated still behind the walls farmland and city if you can't support farming and living in the space you enclose then no size of colony is viable without additional colonists or resupply. Hunting and gathering is going to be more dangerous than defending farmland and will return lower yield. Your people will either die trying to get food or die because they couldn't get food. This leads your once established, now abandoned cities in a quandary. They had more food than they could locally produce once, and the walls will be sized for that population. Work out what size you want that city to be, then assume. Lots of people starved to death, and left behind plots of land that the survivors repurposed to growing potatoes. It takes somewhere between half a hectare and a quarter of a hectare to keep a fully functioning human going, so expect to tear up a lot of your inner city to feed the troops garrisoned on the walls. Exactly how big you need to be to keep going very much depends on a lot of stats we don't have. How many people do you need to man a hundred meters of wall to mount a credible defense is vital, but the core point remains the same. Either your fortified city can support itself from within the walls or it's already dead and doesn't know it yet. 